Now, this report confirms, and you'll hear a lot more about it with even more certainty than in the past, that it is extremely likely that changes in our climate system for the past uh, half a century are due to human influence. And it should serve as yet another wake-up call that our activities today will have a profound impact on society, not only for us, but for many generations to, to come. Multiple lines of evidence confirm that the extra heat being trapped by the greenhouse gases is indeed warming the Earth's atmosphere, the Earth's surface, the oceans, raising sea levels, melting ice caps, glaciers. But we are also changing, and this is of particular concern to my organization, a change in weather patterns and extreme events such as heat waves, droughts, floods. And that was highlighted in the recent WMO report on the uh, global climate for the, last, uh, for, for the decade 2001 to 2010. The Working Group 1 report provides new insight into the possible future occurrences of these, uh, of these events that we are now witnessing on a regular basis. Many of the extremes of the last decade were unprecedented, and uh, the report highlights which ones are likely uh, to become even more, uh, more frequent. The decade 2001-2010 was the warmest on record continuing the trend of, uh, of global warming. More, more temperature record were broken than in any other previous decade. Of course, and that is discussed in great detail in the report, the rate of increase would have been even higher if it was not for the relative cooling influence of La Nina event and the role of deep ocean in absorbing, uh, in absorbing the heat. So the IPC report demonstrates that we must greatly reduce global emissions in order to, to avoid the worst effects of climate change. But the report reflects how much our scientific knowledge has advanced since the previous report six years ago. This is knowledge that can be used, that should be used, to produce actionable climate information and services to help society. And as many of you know, the United Nations system has embarked on a major initiative to develop climate services, which will help decision makers in all sectors affected by climate change, and virtually it is almost any, uh, every socioeconomic sector, to have available information to make informed uh, decisions. This is uh, uh, the development of a global framework for climate services, and uh, certainly it's something which will help decision making. But despite this really overwhelming scientific consensus around climate change, we need further assessment. We need further projection, in particular to downscale this information at the regional and more local level. So we should not stop our investment in that. This is essential investment for the future generations.